I bet you can't see me now. Or is it? Just want to keep the suspense, whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah. Today we will be talking about the non-Euclidean Minecraft, as you guys all know. And for those who don't know what non-Euclidean Minecraft is, um, in the simplest term, it's just the opposite of Euclidean geometry. You see, we actually live in a three-dimensional space, that is, the X, Y, and the Z axis. Even if you press the F3 function key in your Minecraft world or your game or whatever, you can actually see that there are the X, Y, and the Z blocks right there. That basically means that Minecraft follows the Euclidean standards of geometry. There was this guy, a mathematician at Alexandria in Egypt, he was named Euclid. In the early 300 BC, I believe, he actually found out various properties and behavior of the geometry that we find around our globe. And he found that they were universally true and it existed all over us and we lived in a three-dimensional space. So what he did was he actually laid down a certain amount of axioms and postulates. The axioms were mainly concentrated towards the mathematics side. For example, if three objects are there or three lines, everything is measured one centimeter or one meter. The first line and the second line would be same or it will be equal. And the second line and the third line would be equal. Basically, the, all three would be equal. Well, the non-Euclidean, it's as the name suggests, quite the opposite of things. So if everything was to be different in non-Euclidean space, it would be considered equal. Uh, another example in the geometric side of things. In Euclidean geometry, two parallel lines are considered to be having the same distance between the lines all across from point A to point B or point A dash to point B dash. However, in the non-Euclidean space or the non-Euclidean geometry, it's defined as the parallel lines would meet at a particular point. That is, the distance between the lines would not be equal at all given points. And that is not applicable in real life, right? Basically. So, I think this might have suggested that non-Euclidean Minecraft, or sorry, I mean, oh, whoa. Non-Euclidean geometry is not applicable in real life. So, we cannot possibly see them unless there's any computer graphics or whatever well is it you can actually bring non-euclidean in life with another dimension 4d uh, that's the same thing but with an extra dimension that is time with a change in time the properties or the behavior of the x y and z as we have seen there uh, would change creating optical illusion so people around the globe have used this particular property, the 4G property, and created a non-Euclidean space in Minecraft to create an amazing optical illusion. So they actually are possible due to a mod known as the Immersive Portals mod. So this portal basically is not intended to bring a non-Euclidean experience to Minecraft, but is actually intended in creating a seamless experience let me show you how so this mod actually brings you with a portal helper that's the only block it brings you with or adds into the game and a friend and seal just to demonstrate you can also use an obsidian and um, just for fun why not just to demonstrate the real purpose of this particular mod so if i go ahead and lay down the portal uh sorry so if i light it up you're not gonna see the same behavior as the normal Minecraft would. So if I do that, you can see it takes some time and loads in a whole chunk of different different things. As you can see now, this is actually seamless. It's actually fantastic. So the whole point of this particular mod is to create a seamless portal experience, which actually cuts out the loading screen between the portals. This is actually pretty cool. And it's two way as well. So if I go through here, it's it loads up this one. And if I go around, uh, it loads up the way I came through at the front. If I break the portal, if I break any block of the portal, the whole thing breaks up. 
uh, that's because of minecraft game design i don't know why it doesn't leave it there like the other portal the other one is a portal helper um this one is actually used to create portals in the same overworld or it, it can also be used in the nether world but it's mainly used in the overworld for some reason so if i try to make a portal right here I'm, I'm, my portal building skills are not up to the bar so it's part of me but if i light this one up I actually see the portal behind it just vanished away but if i go through here we can actually see both the portals exist so what happens is that if i go through the first portal I instantaneously get teleported to the second if, uh, it's better seen like like this uh, if I go here toggle my f3 button key function key whatever that is and if you actually keep close look on the z axis I guess the block the third one in the block you actually see that the number is just randomly switched so if from 7 8 and suddenly it goes one because i'm getting teleported between the blocks that is the two blocks right here if i go in between and look here i actually get a mirror image of myself it's actually kind of crazy i actually have myself an army of damasses as my name suggests that's kind of cool you can actually see this like uh infinity Mirror display you can find in malls and shops and dressing rooms, I guess. I don't know if that exists, but yeah. So this is now becomes this now it becomes an endless loop. Where actually, I can go kill my content, and which is actually cool. And for you to exist, you can go through here and come out of the loop and come here, and actually it seems like nothing has happened. In this mod, you can actually take out the portal blocks, so then it becomes like good, I guess. What do you call them on both the sides uh, which is kind of cool yeah so now it's like basically invisible unless you notice a different actually kind of mirrory lines going through and if i go walk through this particular one i just drop down if i go in between these things go here i can see myself see myself here and it's just like Keep on going. That was epic. Now I have actually concentrated with the example of a demo. I'll just throw these things there. So this was really done to actually demonstrate what thing the particular mod can do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and look what happens. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm in creative because that's gonna save my life basically. You'll you'll see in a minute. It's also getting dark, which is actually kind of great for what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so let's go ahead and run. This looks like a normal one, right? This one, except for the end shit. Uh, I'm sorry for that. But if you look there, we can actually see the nether. It all looks fine. But see what happens if I enter the portal. Or yeah, I'm actually falling down now. You can actually see that this mod, this particular immersive model mod, can help us create a different orientation, which can be vertical or horizontal at the same time and could be connected. And that's pretty cool. The second one is that the nether portal can be created in any way. So it does not have to be explicitly rectangular, it could be one by one or four by four or how much ever you want and it also can be in different shapes as i've done with this one here like i have gone here now you would see there's an end oh that's crazy right this portal can also make immersive experiences for the end which is also kind of crazy if i go through here and drop down now that's no loading screen at all i dropped on this bedrock for some reason if i want to go here i can actually go through this this one doesn't have an end screen because this is i don't know why but it does and now i have spawned back to the place because this is my spawn point actually this portal is connected to this portal down here so the portal right here um uh, okay <laughs> that's, that's kind of crazy oh my god that is this is actually kind of trippy this actually breaks your brain right there 
you can see myself right there as well let me just time a you can actually see that i'm floating on that portal i'm here in this like almost like a mirror but then you can actually drop down to see that dude yeah because now it's endless right now i can just go through Oh nice, this is actually really cool. So yeah guys, that was it for today's immersive portal non-Euclidean Minecraft experience. Link down in the description if you want to experience the this thing as well. This is actually pretty cool, you can play with your friends and it's just amazing and it creates an amazing whatever it is, but yeah. Oh my god, I have an army of myself. Kinda crazy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, see you next time. Make sure to subscribe and you can always unsubscribe if you want to. So, yeah.